1974, during WFMY-TV's Silver Anniversary Year, another chapter in local television history was written in the Piedmont. Sandra Hughes became the first black woman to host a program on Channel 2. I went on the air, and, and you remember back in the old days, we did everything ourselves. I wrote the scripts, called the guests, made out the formats, and even jokingly say sometimes I went in to help put the set up. But I felt this overwhelming responsibility to do something that I wasn't sure what it was I was supposed to be doing. I had people on one side of the city in, in the black community saying, okay, since you're black, this should be a black show. Isn't that what this is going to be? Then I had people on another side of the community saying, you are black, but you are going to make this a show for everyone, aren't you? There were lots of people in our viewing audience that didn't want to see me doing a talk show on television, and they said so in a number of different ways. I got lots of nasty phone calls at my home, here at work. I got threatening letters. No one ever threatened my life, but people said lots of nasty things in the letters. Uh, even my husband had to put up with lots of nasty comments at his, you know, places that he went to in the city because people didn't think that the time had come for a black woman to be doing a show by herself on television. Um, one other thing that, that was very difficult to deal with, we got bomb threats quite often. The show was on live every day at one o'clock and for weeks and weeks we would have someone call and say that there was a bomb somewhere on the set. Now what that would mean was the guests would have to all be taken out of the studio but I was determined to make this show work. Um, I wanted to make sure I was doing a good job and that people out there would eventually see that so I would stay. That's where I learned to talk without stopping <laughs> because the guests would all leave and I'd have 30 minutes of show to fill. So I'd just sit there and talk and talk and talk and talk to make sure that show stayed on the air. And after a while, I think our viewers decided, well, you know, this person really is trying to be a person for all people. And they gave me a chance and, and all the threats and the nasty letters and the bomb threats stopped. 